All right, so basically in this video, I'm gonna show you how to uh, change your canvas from being very flat to give it some grain, give it some life. Um, and basically what that'll do is it'll mimic like watercolor paper or a paint canvas. Um, it's really easy, it's really simple. So yeah, let's get to it. All right, so this is basically going to be how to give your illustration a more traditional look when you're doing digital painting. So um, canvas is 2000 by 2000. It's just a, a basic square. And so you can change your canvas. You can change the color to whatever. I usually use this beige color because I don't like to use white um, to, to draw on. So I'm going to take the same beige color I'm going to bring it like a darker version of it. Doesn't it's not that specific as long as it's darker it, it will work. And then I'm going to go to my brush library, sketches and soft pastel. You can experiment with the other ones, but for for now we're just going to use soft pastel and we're going to make the brush pretty big and we're going to bring the opacity down to about 50%. All right, so, and then all you do is just softly, just softly go over your canvas. Make sure you get the corners. I'm just gonna double this layer just so you can kind of see the grain texture. And you can ex experiment with all different t types of textures so you can get the kind of paper or like canvas that you want. So, and also you can see that the, the brushes sort of make a pattern, but um, I mean, I, there's probably ways to minimize that, but it doesn't really bother me that much, especially because essentially I'm going to make it even lighter than that. So I'm going to bring the opacity of that layer to about 38%. And that's about, that just gives it a little bit of grain. You know, I don't want it that crazy. And you can also practice, you can also experiment with different colors. It's just slightly giving it a different hue. So there's a lot of options, but basically it just looks like a more traditional um, canvas. So the next thing you do is if you're going to draw on it, um, you can take black, same, use the same uh, soft pastel. Brush, and you can just make the brush a lot smaller and bring the opacity up. I'll do it to about 85%. And... And then you can just draw as you would normally, but as long as your brush has that same texture, then, then you're doing well. And I know it's kind of, it might be kind of annoying to kind of not have it be extremely black, like not have your brush a solid black, but you, you know, when you're actually, actually I think I'm on that same layer. Um, I should have started this on a, on a different layer and locked this one. So for future reference, you want to lock, you want to lock that layer. So let me just erase this. So you want to lock that layer so you don't accidentally draw on it like I did. And now you can just draw using that. using another layer so that way you don't that way you don't ruin your your base layer cuz later on you might want to make it make the texture darker or lighter so this sort of gets gives it that real 
sort of pencil feel or you know charcoal or wherever you want to call it and when I do colors I usually just do them underneath first I'll merge them at some point in time but I do the colors underneath and I'll go back here Oops. But everything maintains that kind of rough, kind of rough look. And another thing that I also do is I'll just use a graffiti brush, um, which is just like a regular, you can use any of your, your regular uh, paint brushes to smudge, whichever one you like to smudge to smudge with and sometimes I'll give it a smudge because this is like exactly what I would do if I was just using a regular if I was just doing like with charcoals or, or pencil or anything like that I would do the exact same thing so let's make this let's quicken this up this process we'll do uh, we'll do an orange eye and some shadow here the whole eye some shadow Another thing that I like to do is I'll make another layer, add, I love the add um, layer, white, and it gives it that nice natural feel, so. And here's one that I did yesterday using the same technique. Thanks so much for watching the tutorial. I hope that you got something out of it. I hope it was useful. If so, give me a like, give me a subscribe if you want. I have a few other uh, tutorials coming out, so make sure you subscribe so you can see all the videos. And if you have anything that you wanna know or any tutorials you want me to do, let me know in the comments below um, and I'll get to work on that. So thank you so much. Keep drawing and I'll catch you in the next video. And yes, I for almost forgot my tagline.